Praise God. We want to welcome you this morning to the prophetic voice of victory broadcast. I'm your host, uh, Apostle James Duncan, and my daughter here, spiritual daughter, Prophetess Marcy Miles Jenkins. Amen. Uh, 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 my co-host and a person that God has given a genius anointing to help you birth books in a few days. You can get the idea to set it up in a few days. Amen. So, Prophet is more to greet the people. Good morning to you all. Good morning to you. And like Apostle said, um, I am the one that births many books uh, for those in the kingdom. I call them um, scribal influences. That's something the Lord gave me that we are scribal influences, that he is placed, he has touched our mouths and he's placed his words in our mouth. And so he said, release the um, Shema prophets that they may go out and speak and proclaim the word, that they may preach the gospel with words. And those words are published and placed in a book. So indeed, if you have a book and you want to write and you are unsure about what to even write, maybe, then certainly I can support you. But just to clarify, I have a group that uh, we write books in a matter of three to seven days. And so that's what Apostle is referring to, that we can help you to write your manuscript and get your first final draft done within uh, anything from three to seven days. I know some people have done it in day one or two days. It just really matters on the type of book that they're writing. And so once that goes through, as you know, publishing is a another process. Okay, But to get down your manuscript, uh, I call it the head of the baby. You want to get the 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 most um, the most done in the short amount of time, so that you can finish the book. Because many people write, but they don't publish. So, if that's you, certainly um, reach out to me. Let me know. You can DM me, and um, I'll be available to assist you in which way I can. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I know. I know. Um... Uh, many authors that she has helped to uh, give birth to cause them to come forth with the baby that was in their womb. Amen. The pregnancy they had, the word, the book that they had in them. Amen. And so you might be one. God has said to you, you're a writer. And you think, I don't have the education. I don't know the whole mechanism, the process of how to get a book done. I don't even have the money. Praise God. She's going to help you. She's going to help you. And praise God. And so, uh, you see, when God gives you an idea and God gives you a dream, he already has the people line up to help you to give birth to the idea or give birth to the dream, or give birth to the baby. And when it's God's idea, it is God's baby. He is the father, and he is going to see to it that the baby come forth. Amen. Babies are not only physical, babies are spiritual too. Babies are, uh, are ideas that came to pass. Amen that came to pass in their season, in their time. And that is why we teach this. Money is an idea whose time has come. An idea. For example, this book, Yada, was an idea. Time came. It came out. Now, this I'm talking from a phone an iPhone, there was an idea in somebody's mind. That is why sometimes they were called in, in times past, this is my brain child. It's an idea. And so here comes the creation of iPhone. It's money, an idea. I, 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 when I teach this, I, I, I take out a tissue. I could take out a tissue. I say, well, this is a tissue. But it's money. Because the idea time came. 
That means you give birth to the ID and his money. So, I mean, that was just like we're talking about the yada, God's divine blueprint in your life. The yada is God's idea of who you are. And he has already mapped it out for you. He's already, is a blueprint. He's already wrote it in his book concerning you. The idea that you are, the idea that you are becoming, it is the yada. We say God's divine blueprint. In Genesis 18, 19, he said, he talk, God was talking about his idea. He talked about Abraham, and he said this. I'm going to read it for the, from the book. Amen. He said, for I have chosen him. I have yada him. He is my idea. And so th this world is full of ideas. And ideas still continue. It's ideas. Some is God's idea. Some is Satan's idea. God's idea. God's idea. Or the Bible says, in the beginning, in the beginning, John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, the word. Let me read it from a New King James Version. I want you to see it, amen. King James Version is 16th century English. And so this, let's read it from like today's English, but from the King James Version. Sometime, sometime God release us, we can talk about the versions because people have all kinds of ideas. The New King James says, in the beginning was the word and is a big, is a capital W O R D, and the word was with God. The word is a person, and the word was God. The word was God, and so in, in the Greek, the word W the capital W R O R D, which is talking about about Jesus, which is a person. So it, so it means the word means a a con a idea, a thought, a concept. But the but the thought, the idea and the concept was God, was God. And the Bible said, and the word became flesh, or the word manifested in flesh. God's idea manifest that is God manifested in flesh. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So Jesus is God, is God taught, is God idea. And so you are God's taught, God's idea, but we are not the word, but we are a word. So every human being is a word in the word, or we are a word in God. So the yada is God's will, is God's idea the who you are, God's idea. You can say, I am God's idea. I am not my mother's idea. I'm not my father's idea. I'm not some genius celebrity idea. I'm not the devil's idea. I am God's idea. Because God said to Jeremiah, before Jerry 1, 1, 5, he said, before I, the Lord thy God, I, the creator of heaven and the earth, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew 
you. I knew thee. This is the King James. It means you. So you are God's idea. And he said, and he said to him again, he said, and before you came us, came us forth out of the womb, before I sanctify you, I separated you, and I ordained you, or I appointed you, or these King James says, a prophet unto the nations. So you are my idea. You are my, your purpose is my idea. The yada is my idea. And when Jesus came and was and gave us the model prayer, the model prayer, he said, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your name is hallowed. Your name is holy. Your name is great and greatly to be praised. He said, your kingdom come, your rule and reign come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So God's idea is his will. The yada is his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because already in heaven, God already knows you. Because we were living in God in heaven before he sent us to our mother's womb. And when he sent us to our mother's womb, he sent us with his idea or what we call his his purpose, his will. So when we when the yada is activated, is the will of God, what he has written in his book, his idea coming to pass on earth as it is in heaven. Prophet is mercy. Amen. Amen. It's good to see you all coming in. Good morning to you. And um, Sister Sonia just reminded me that it is actually a Women's International Day. So I want to say happy Women's International Day to all the women out there in ministry, those who are serving their families, those who are serving their churches and in business and just in life. We want to acknowledge you and let you know that we appreciate you for all that you do and all that you are. We want to um, thank you for supporting um, this broadcast and your faithfulness. We appreciate you all. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor, I was meditating. I was meditating on um, Genesis, Genesis um, chapter 1, verse 28, where God tells us that we are to be fruitful and to multiply. But even, even before then, he said that he blessed us. He had blessed man. And he had told them to be fruitful and to multiply and to replenish the earth, to fill the earth and to have dominion, to have dominion over the uh, fish over the sea and the birds or the fowls of the air. And so that was really just ministering in my spirit that uh, as God had founded us before time, before time before time and released us into time. We're released into a time zone. We're released into this earthly realm where it is governed by time. Uh, he said to do what? Take up time. And that really hit my spirit um, when he said to fill the earth, to replenish it. Uh, what I received was to take up time, to take up space, to take up space in time. And so uh, God is really ministering to me about many of us, we shrink back and we don't utilize the time. But we know that the days, we are to redeem the time for the days are evil. We're to take back the time. And so even now, some of you have been procrastinating. Okay, that was the word came forth yesterday, I believe. Procrastinating. Procrastination is a thief. Okay, the enemy come but to what? To kill, steal and destroy. So he's a stealer of time. But God yes. released us into time and he releases to have what dominion. He gave us the space. He gave us the realm. He gave us the kingdoms. He said over the animal kingdom and over anything that move of, upon the earth, any small thing. And I said, small, what's little? I said, right now is not little to me, <laughs> right? 
But go, to God, where he looks, those things are little. Anything that's little that's moving upon the earth. He said, I'm giving you the time. I'm giving you the remit to take what? Rulership. To have dominion means to have rulership. And so we are here to have rulership. Uh, and it's when we understand who we are and we reclaim. The word yesterday came forth to reclaim our yada, to reclaim our knowledge of who we was before we was entered into this uh, this physical, earthly realm where we are to take space. He's given it to us to reside. We dwell here, but we are to take up space. In other words, some of us are restricted and we constrict ourselves. We allow the things of this world and we're not to be conformed, okay? And so this word yada really comes forth to transform us to transform us into the idea and the thoughts and the plans and the purposes that God has for us. So there's a transformation that happens. And therefore the word uh, that came forth, uh, apostle was talking about uh, that we are to be regenerated back to our origin, be regenerated back to our origin. So in our spirit, we carry the DNA of God. We carry his DNA. In our physical body, we carry the DNA of our parents. But then there's a spiritual DNA that we can get grafted in. And I'll give you an example. So when I'm an apostle, God began to create uh, the DNA by being associated, by association. He told me to come under the covering of Apostle James Duncan. This is before anything, okay? This is before you know, I was moving in ministry or anything. He said, come under the covering, okay? And so therefore God had an idea to put family together. He was putting my family, my spiritual family together. He was birthing a spiritual lineage for me. And so he had already planted the people. They're already in position. I had to get in position and I had to be open enough to receive. In other words, I had to take up space. I had to receive the space and I had to take up space. In other words, I couldn't come and just be invisible. I couldn't come and pretend that God is not wanting to use me. And so, so many of you, God has connected you to your spiritual family, your spiritual bloodline, because he is activating your DNA, your yada DNA. He's, he's causing you to reclaim it. He's causing you to be connected to it. Now, the next step for you is for you to receive it and walk in it. And so uh, Apostle began this broadcast this morning by talking about me and the books and everything. But I was laughing to myself because I said, Apostle, you was the one that prophesied over me that I would have a book deal. This thing came by way of you speaking it out. And now we're here. And this is 2017, but now we're here. And so uh, time, has got, time has been spent, but in that time, I took up space. I came to the events. I traveled, get a hotel. I even brought people with me. <laughs> yeah. I brought people with me. Because I said, listen, there was this lady, she lived in Connecticut, and one hour away from me. I would travel one hour out of one di direction and then have to double back to go all the way to Boston. And then anytime a person had events in New York, I'd have to go all this way and get into Connecticut, deep Connecticut to pick her up. And then we would travel to New York together. Let me tell you something. It used to be the highlight of my life to go to the prophetic awakening in October. It was the highlight of my life because I knew that it was a time that I was being reignited. It was a re it was a time of reignition. And so if I didn't take that space, if I didn't think it was worthy enough, or it was worth me spending money or my time, my effort, or my resources, or even picking up a friend, going with a friend, if I didn't take up that space, he said to fill the earth. If I said, no, I'm gonna stay in my home, that's not me taking up space. But he said that we are to be fruitful. We are to bear fruit, to have something to show. And so after being connected in May 2016 through the um, 
reset Boston, I can look back and say, I've, I've been through. I, I probably could have done a lot more, but I can say I bed through. I connected, right, with the people that God has set in place for me. I connected. I made myself available. But God began to tell them that I was that I had I had something in my belly. And instead of me hiding, because well, I, I won't lie, there was a couple of years that I was hiding. I was like, nah. <laughs> uh, but if it wasn't for them, keep pulling on me, pulling me, pulling on me, right? That it, it, you know, so God knows the environment that you need to be in to get the pull. Okay. So in my own insecurities, in my own insecurity, these were my insecurities. These were my fears that I was dealing with. Let me not claim it as mine, but I believe you understand what I'm saying. I Amen. was having a battle. Okay. An emotional battle, a psychological battle, um, some struggles. And I felt myself not worthy of. But God said, I put you in an environment. That environment will nurture you. It will grow you. It will refine you. And it will pull out that which I have already sown and invested in you. And so uh, in order to activate your yada, you have to be in the right vicinity and connected to the right prophetic voice. The right prophetic voice. God's have, God has uh, mouthpieces all over the earth. But nobody, nobody should be without he has them all over the earth. And that's why as ministers, we must travel and subdue the earth. That's why we must fill the earth. We must replenish because everybody is in need of a prophetic voice to speak directly into their life. Amen. Amen. Excellent. 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 And, and that was a tremendous testimony. Amen. Uh, 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 she is she has moved to the dimension she has moved into because when the prophetic word was spoken by me and then later others it activated her yada because the prophetic word reveals purpose reveals what is written in god's book and when God said, you're going to have the book deal, the book deal, what God was saying that you are already an author and you're going to help others. Others, you get a deal, they're going to get deals because every, right. every seed produces after its kind. You get a deal, others going to get deals. And so, but it's prophecy. Prophecy is what God has written in his book concerning you. And he let a prophet or an apostle or somebody at a, as a prophetic minister moving with a gift of prophecy can see or can hear and can read what is written in your book. In the New Testament, it said we are living epistles read, read by men. Men can look at your life and read you, read you, read you. And especially if they are holy and if they are prophetic, they can read what God has written, in not only what, what, what you're experiencing now, or as it's called, foretelling in, in the prophetic, but they can read what is F-O-R-E telling. F-O-R-T-H is fort telling, telling fort. Or they can read what is written in the book, in, the, in God, which is foretelling. Fort telling is in God, but foretelling is futuristic. It's futuristic. F-O-R-E, foretelling. Amen. And so in Jeremiah 1, verse 4 says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, the prophetic word, what the yada, what was written in God's book concerning Jeremiah. He said, Before I form you in the belly, I knew you. I yada you. And so prophecy ignites, activates, 
triggers what is written in your in your book because god when he sent us into a mother's womb he has written some things in our book so our spirits that cohabited with him before the world was and before and now that we are he has sent us to our mother's womb the, 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 our spirit comes with the pregnancy the pregnancy with the that which is conceived our spirits come with it because our spirits is the real is the god part of us and it comes with prophecy or comes with purpose impregnated so when the prophetic word comes it awakens that which is asleep it causes the baby in our spirits to be birthed to come forth so the yada causes us sometimes to change our own mindset the metamorphosis takes place it change our own thinking change our own positions and change our own belief system it changes causes the destiny of god that he sent us to accomplish in the earth his word his will his purpose to manifest when i got the prophetic word coming to me as he spoke as he spoke to jeremiah i was in engineering and i was happy elated with what i was doing because i saw it in my mind and i went to and do it and i'm involved in this at a good position in 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 the company and 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 a, a good position in the nation because the time came that I can call directly a line and the president going to answer because there's a certain phone on my desk, a certain color. I can because of the nature the, the, and, the, and the nature of the job and the nature, physical nature of the nation. If I make a call from this phone, is that it the president or his security detail can answer? Sometimes he answers because to, to 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 speak about some things concerning his well-being and all of that so it was it was it was a, a a strategic position and i saw that but god had the greater and the greatest the will of god for your life or your yada is the greatest is the best you the best you the best you and so when we when the yad is activated or god's divine blueprint is activated that is the best you that is the you that god has sent that is the you that all heaven and earth is backing that is the you that all heaven and earth and the, with the holy angels are looking over and helping you to fulfill because that is god's will in the earth prophetess go for it amen i'm just meditating on the word right now romans 10 verse 17. so then faith coming by here by hearing the word of god Sorry. Amen. i've been a little silly but i'm just I, the, the, the word that's coming forth is stirring me up and so I'm just meditating on this word. And so as the yada comes forth, as the prophecy, as God speaks, thus saith, as that word is being released and you're hearing that word, your spirit man is picking and is picking, I'm sorry, is picking it up and it's being activated.
activated. And so you must be in the vicinity to hear. You must have hearing ears. You got to be able to have the ability to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Without the hearing, you will not be able to be activated into the dimension in which God has purpose for you to be in. And so I'm seeing even now, I'm seeing there's a shift in, I'm seeing realms opening, I'm seeing portals opening even now. I'm seeing the, um, the angels of the Lord ascend and descend. There is so much activity. It's probably why I'm so excited right now, but I'm seeing so much um, spiritual activity moving up and down right now over the globe because people being activated and been stirred just as they're hearing them. They're hearing the word of God going forth. And so therefore they're picking up in the realm and the spirit. They're picking up physically. I'm sure many of you are feeling this. There is fire on this broadcast. You want to share it out. The fire of God is moving. I see the angelic host moving. There is a dimension that's been opened up even now yes. in the Yadda. And I hear the Lord say, uh, son, I am opening up doors for you. I am opening up doors, even that which was once closed. I am releasing the word. I have sent the trumpeters to go out. They shall take the word yada into the places that you haven't even stepped to yet. Uh, places that you have never been will receive this word the word of the Yada, for I desire to know my people and I desire for them to know me in a greater measure and a greater dimension. For I am doing a new thing on the earth and I am stirred up uh, those that I have spoken to them and I have commanded them to come out from amongst them. For I am looking for a remnant. I am looking for those who are seeking me, who desire me more than life itself. Uh, I am calling them forth. Uh, I have even even released intercessors to wail, the wailing women, even in the night seasons, for they have picked up this assignment to cause a revival, a global revival, a social revival. I have caused them to pray, even from heads of states. I have caused them to pray from the heads going down, for there shall be a demolition. There shall be a falling down and a falling away, but I'm causing my people to go forth and to begin to plant my word. The word yada shall be planted. The word yada shall be rooted. The word yada shall sprout up and it shall cause and bear much fruit. My people, for I am gathering them in this season, for I am calling them forth. I have heard the cries of my people and I have come to visit them in this hour and this season. But this is the time of awakening and a shaking. And this is the time that I'm causing even the young generation to know who they are, that their yada is activated and that they will not be plucked out of my hand, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. I received the word of the Lord. The Lord says, daughter, I'm, I'm removing the scales from off your eyes. I'm removing uh, that which blocked you in the past for a, a new dimension of my glory and a new dimension of my grace has been released. And, uh, and the time shall come, and even season shall come when you shall be drunk, but not with wine, but, be, uh, but, but, but by my spirit. And you shall cause even great breakthroughs and great doors and, and cause my people to give birth. For I see you pushing, pushing them forward to give birth to the ideas that I'm placing them. For even uh, I, I, I've seen this, uh, that I'm give you this pregnancy to birth people in the art realm, even the global ministry, to, to, to push them through that which I have impregnated them with. And you're going to hear many birds, and the business shall increase, and you shall travel, and the business shall travel, even to other places and other dimensions in the earth, said the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah! Now Thank you, Lisa. This is a season of the shifting and the changing, even for you that is hearing, because the seed that who you are is now beginning to germinate. The seed that who you are is you're going you're gonna to give birth to my ideas, said the Lord. You're going to give birth 
to that which I've impregnated with you, with you shall, you shall give birth and others shall reap and feed and live for what I've placed inside of you, said the Lord. For indeed, I've placed my word inside of you. I've placed my preprint inside of your heart. And many of you uh, are going to move tremendously to cause that obstacles, the obstacles before you to, uh, to be destroyed and cause poverty uh, to change even in your life and in your bloodline and many hearts and lives for the yada is going to be activated through your word and through what I've given unto you to release, said God. Many of you, your neighborhoods are going to change because I'm shifting you from one neighborhood to another neighborhood. Many of you, uh, I, 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 I'm, changed, I'm causing from sadness to joy to comfort for you shall break through in many places and in many houses for the days of change has come, said the Lord. Amen. And, and, and in this International Women's Day, I said, women, God today has caused a breakthrough to come. Even to you, Yada, you're going to give birth. Some of you have given birth to physical children, but now you're going to give birth to the child that is inside of you. God's baby, the Yada, his divine blueprint for your life. And many going to call you blessed. For I begin to see, even in Kenya, there are going to be a shift. You're going to hear something in the news. There are going to be a shift. There are going to be a shift. There are going to be a shift. For as the president has stood up against the enemy, Satan and his demons and his minions, to stand that this nation will not deal with that which is ungodly like same-sex marriage this nation shall not you're going to begin to see uh, the fruitfulness of this because you withstood against the enemy kenya hear the word of the lord you're going to see new dimensions of new development new roads new housing new buildings new finances and discoveries even from natural resources, going to shift the economy and shift the nation, said the Lord. Kenya. I don't know somebody from is with Kenya. God, you're going to hear it on the news. Amen. And when my first wife, amen, was alive, because God said you're going to marry again, so when she was alive, this was one of the things that God began to train me into is that we have to hear God through the female vessel because in Christ in the anointing there is neither male there is neither male nor female in the realm of the spirit in the anointing is Christ is not male or female the house or the body has a female function, but in Christ, there's neither male nor female. So this is the dimension that God is raising up tremendously in the earth realm. When men or society or, 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 or as a type of a, a thought, which was satanic, think that a woman cannot be, this and a woman cannot be then years ago they said a woman cannot be an apostle a woman can't be a bishop and now revelation is increasing and as we go more into the world we said they had women overseers because bishop is, is an amina overseer they had women overseers they had women the head of israel they they, they had women apostles a easy name Junior, one with a, a, a woman apostle. They had them because from the beginning of time, the Bible says he created them. Male and female created he, him. It's not only the male is made in the image of God, the realm, the realm of the spirit, male and female created he, them. God created male and female. 
and this foolishness, but is that it and no by, foolishness is demonic, is going to come to an end because it's already ended. God already prophesied what's going to happen to Satan. Amen. It's already done. It's already done. It's only the time. It's done already. So, you believe and align yourself with foolishness, you're going to get the reward of Satan. Because the Bible said, God did not make hell for man, but for the devil and his angels. The devil and his angels. So you don't want to be there. God is not God. When God sent you to a mother's womb, hell was not created for you, you and I, but for the devil and his angels. So the day has come now when you that has never received Christ as your savior or you that is backslidden, I'm hearing the speech of the last night for somebody that is backslidden or they have gone off the deep end, what they're talking about. Because in this world, the enemy, the enemy, because the Bible says, the Bible says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And so in the beginning, when he said, don't eat of the, the fruit of this tree, it was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. So today, God wants you, if you've never received Christ, to come to him because he created you. He sent you from your mother's womb. The mother's womb was the place of incubation and development that when the time came, and as she, she push, push out the baby, you were, God sent you to enter into the life of this baby. And now you, you are born in the flesh, but your age is not the same as your flesh. It is not the same of your flesh. We were living in God from eternity and he sent us into time, into our mother's womb. So the time has come now. The Bible says, today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. And with love, the Bible says, for God so, so loved the world, he loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. Look at that. He loved the world, and he gave his only son. His son never sinned, never did wrong, but he sacrificed his son that the world going to come back to him, be reconciled with him through Jesus Christ, his only begotten son. So today, you need to be reconciled. If you've never received Christ, you need to be reconciled back to him, back to the Father. And if you're backslidden, you need to be reconciled to Jesus, which is, which is being reconciled to the Father. Because the Bible says, God was in Christ reconciling a world unto himself reconciliation and we have the ministry of reconciliation if you're ready to be reconciled repeat this after me say heavenly father this morning i come to you as a sinner i come to you as a backslider forgive me for my sins lord wash me in your blood and cleanse me you declare in your word that if I, conf if I confess with my, with my mouth and believe my, in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, I shall be saved. And I believe it and confess it. So I thank you for salvation. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. If you're done that, you're born again. The Bible says you've been your regime from above. Have the genes of Jesus, have the genes of the Father. You can imagine you have the genes of Jesus, our Lord genius, our Lord Jesus, and the genius that you are is being activated. 
because when we fulfill our purpose in the earth, we are like geniuses and even because the Bible calls us kings and priests, kings and priests. And so I want to pray with you that don't know who you are, don't know if your yard is activated, don't know if God's divine blueprint, if you're walking in it, if it's being developed, don't know who you are in identity. Today I feel like a woman and you dress like a woman. Tomorrow I feel like a man, I dress like foolishness because the battlefield is in the mind, the mind, and the mind can influence the emotions. Knowledge in the mind can influence the emotions. So if you feel like a bird, you think you're a bird? Foolishness. Oh, I got feelings like a woman, so I'm a woman. Foolishness. That means something is wrong with my, 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 my mind. Yadas are so mental knowledge. Something is wrong with my mind. When you have the, the, the mental knowledge and understanding that you are God's idea, and the yada is God's blueprint for his idea, you and I in the life, God's writing, and every, every manufacturer produce a manual with the schematic of what he produces. If it's a refrigerator, if it's a car, the manufacturer produces the, 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 the blueprint and the instructions manual. And so the Bible is our instruction my manual and it has our blueprint. The word of God is his blueprint for us. And so today you want to pray for you and your family. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against every demonic stronghold over the mind, mm -hmm. the will and the emotions. And we destroy every the spirit of the occupus and the squid, every satanic implantation in the heart, in the mind, in the life of your people and all of us. And in the name of Jesus, through the power of the sacrificial blood, the blood of the eternal covenant, we destroy these works and God, we activate the healing the deliverance, your blessing now from every over every sickness and disease and infirmity and every financial position, relational position, everything that the devil did, we destroy now in the name of Jesus. Heart and deep hearts, we uproot these spirits, drive them out, and we thank you for breakthroughs and deliverance and your will being done on earth as it is in heaven. Let the yada being done on earth as it is in heaven for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen there's resurrection life that is re released now receive it the resurrection life to cause your read the your, your spirit to be regenerated excuse me regeneration is take place new life new breakthroughs you you, 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 you testify, send us the testimony, amen, of what took place in your life. And every testimony you get, a prophetic word, a teaching, a, a testimony, how it comes to you, let us know. Let us know what God is doing to us through this broadcast. Providence Mercy, you could go and have a quick close. Amen, amen. And I want to um, let you guys know that yesterday we had um, the Prophetic Institute and so I want to uh, remind you to go ahead and register, register for this program. We're still taking people on. So you definitely want to participate. If you're somebody that says, you know, from time to time, I do have a prophetic word, but I still don't understand the protocol. And I would like prophetic apostolic counsel. I would like to be trained. I would like sound biblical teaching concerning the office of the prophet and what it means to minister under a prophetic grace, a prophetic gift in, or even under the spirit of uh, prophecy. If that's you, then you want, we have already started, but we are giving you an opportunity now because the next class won't be until next year. Okay. And so you can jump in now and get ahead. You can jump in now and you can be 
further along. You can jump in now and, and be activated uh, with uh, uh, spiritual uh, prophets and teachers, okay, that will set you and ground you in place, okay? And so I'm really encouraging you to reach out. You can reach out to John Wayne. He's here on Facebook. He's actually um, teacher, uh, teacher Elton John. But reach out to him and get in the class. Do anything and everything. Listen, I've got people in there. I've got people in there that's not even on this shore. Okay, so I've got people from London that's attending the program. And, you know, if they're attending the program from London, it means that they're up at midnight to like 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Okay, and so people is hungry is what I'm saying. People is hungry. They're hungry for the word. They're hungry for teaching. And um, and this is whether they already move in office or not. They want to be further grounded. See, we are life learners here, okay? Which is why I still attend the class because it's always good to revisit. It's always good to be restored up and to receive a fresh impartation, to receive fresh oil upon that which I have already stored up, okay? And so um, don't sit down and don't sit back and say, you talking to them and not me. No, I'm talking to you, you who's watching now, okay? You that's watching now. Listen, Amen. people would travel. I would have to get plane fare, hotel stay, car rental, okay? Forget about entrance fee, but before entrance fee, before even paying for the course, I have to do these things in addition. All you need to do is get into the course and pay for the course, which is an investment into you and into your spiritual journey, okay? You're seeking impartation and you're investing into that. And so we want to build you up. We are a community that wants to build you up strongly and fervently equip you. This is a prophetic apostolic hub. Some of you are saying, but I don't want to join a church. This is not a church. This is yeah. a school. It's the prophetic institute. You're going for educational purposes and so that we can ground you and you can further go back into your places, uh, even to your prayer groups or your prayer ministry or your Bible groups or even your churches. And you can take that knowledge and you can instill it further into those. Because guess what? We are here to be fruitful and to multiply. So that which you learn, guess what? You're going to be able to multiply with it. And you're going to be able to take up even a greater space. Some of you are not taking space ministry-wise because you know there's a lack of insight and knowledge. That's why the school is here to equip you to give you the equipment, to give you the tools, the understanding, the background, so that you can be propelled and lift off and launch forward. And so, uh, again, reach out to John Wayne. You can reach out to myself or Apostle. We can support you and put you with the right people so that yes. you can set this path. This is the year 2023. This is a Jordan year. God said to have dominion, and this is how we are taking dominion. It's by doing something differently, people of God. Don't stand back and allow this word to pass. In fact, we are going to be doing a workshop on the Yadda to activate your blueprint. We will be having a workshop. Uh, Apostle James Duncan, myself, and uh, we're going to have some other teachers that they will be coming in and be teaching. And so we are going to do it and, you know, save the day, people of God. So it will be happening March 23rd. 7 p.m. Eastern Time, March 23rd, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a Thursday, okay? So we will uh, get the flyer and the registration situated. But as of now, take down that date and purpose yourself to be in that room. And in that room, you'll have an opportunity to ask some questions so that we can get things realigned and connected for you, okay? Concerning this teaching, because we are hearing from many of you, this is blessing your spirit and soul, but you're not quite sure where to go with it, the application of the word. And so we're teaching it and breaking it down um, for this month, for March, so that you can march on, okay? So you're marching on in your activation of the Yadda. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So I want to tell you that my cash up is there. Prophet is mercy cash up. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you good measure. Press down, 
shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom and when you give into our lives you're giving into good ground this is good ground amen praise god and so we we want to say to you we love you and jesus loves you and jesus is lord shalom shalom